Crime rates are down in Rochester. This according to the 2018 crime rate report that was released yesterday. But some want clear answers about how this happened. Kayla Green reports. Executive member of the Police Accountability Board, Pastor Wanda Wilson, attended yesterday's announcement of crime statistics, and she says she has questions. I just think that there was a, a we gave a lot of credit, they gave a lot of credit to police officers and, and, and playing that up to say it had to do with better policing and community relationships, where I think there are other factors that play into that. She says one of those questions is specifically how community policing is being implemented. Chairman of Public Safety for the city, Willie J. Lightfoot, says technology is one way. I know in the past that there's been things that have been diffused by the police monitoring face, Facebook. Um, so uh, that has helped. Technology is tremendous, and we're hoping to increase that, you know, increase ability of people, ways of, of being able to uh, engage with the police. Pastor Wilson says she agrees technology is helping, but also says that doesn't mean community police relationships are where she'd like them to be. She points to the ACT Rochester annual report card. It breaks down the number of arrests in Rochester by race and ethnicity. The report says there were 4,748 black or African Americans, 1,052 Hispanics or Latinos, and 1,464 whites arrested. We have to acknowledge that that exists. There is definitely a systemic problem here in how police officers police communities of color. Um, so we have to get to that place where we can have that conversation and we have to get to that place where we can really build community trust and really have that transparency. Pastor Wilson says she thinks the way to get to that place of trust is to give the community a say in how officers are disciplined when they come into communities of color. Adam? Kayla, thank you. As many of you know, there's a proposal out there to create a stronger police accountability board that could discipline officers. Now, the mayor's office opposes that power, saying it's not allowed because of the contract they have with the police union.